All right, good morning, everybody. My name's Nick. I'm from Evergreen Tree Care. We find ourselves this morning in this beautiful parkland and we're conducting an aerial rescue team building workshop uh, just to keep everybody's skills sharp and honed and have a happy fun Friday. So you're calling this the Evergreen Tree Care Olympics? Oh, it's so. the Evergreen Tree Care Olympics. Uh, it's a bit of an idea that we came up with just to keep everybody uh, on the same page, improve teamwork, improve skills, understand our techniques and equipment, and basically just to have fun and for some camaraderie. But the pressure is on the scissor paper rock because whoever wins gets to choose which order they want to go in. So Bring it on, we are ready to go. All right. Still gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> here we are today, just so you know, we're Evergreen. We're here doing a team challenge. Who's we're up there going there? up the tree. We're gonna make some safety situations. It looks, the tree looks safe and secure. We put out some hazard tape, just so that no one gets injured or hurt. Nick's installed his line already. Oh my gosh, I'm behind the eight ball. So we've just finished off on the um, team challenge over there at the tree climbing thing and I guess that was definitely gained to or skilled to the tree climbers. So what we thought we'd do is we'd now mix it up and we'd bring it over here to uh, the ground based activities. I've got my tradies wheelbarrow here just so that I've got the prime viewing spot. So I'm going to be taking a lot of notes and making sure that everyone's doing everything right. But we've got a little obstacle course set up here and we're going to have some fun little challenges that the guys are going to have to do to simulate like kind of like real life work scenarios and have a little bit of fun and bond with the team. So. in three teams, we've got yep. team one, team two, team three, right? So we can break them up into their group. Yep. Okay, so climb was like, I added, when they got deductions of points, I said that was a 10 second for each point that they lost, that was a 10 second yeah, deduction, yeah, nice. right? Yeah, so yeah. then I kind of added up how many deductions nice. they were, and then I added the score to their total time, Brilliant. to make a total um, time. Yep. And so, you know, we've obviously got uh, 21, 23, 21, so um, they are they're close. pretty close, and then the ground, as it turns out, it was pretty bloody tight as well, so um, the scores ranged from uh, 600.9 to 60459 oh, and 62068, so oh, yeah. it was pretty close, you could have just thrown a blanket over all three of you guys yeah. as a team. Um, so third place was team one, Luke's team, at uh, 6 minutes 20. Uh, second place 
was team two in 6.04. And Tara, your team came in first at 6.00. And again, you guys can wow. make, make sure you drop in and see K2 because they are actually like really good for us. So, yeah, they've been supporting us for a while. So. No worries. Congratulations. So, yeah. All right. And then, if you guys want to sit down, we'll call up the total overall winner. That's a combined total. Well done, yeah. And given this is our first event, we didn't really know how this was going to play out. I just thought that I'd just add both the ground team score and the climbing score together to make an overall score to sort of keep things um, fair and equitable. Um, and again, it was pretty close. So we've got from 29.05, 27.68 and 27.49. So like... I don't know, maybe that could have been my dodgy stop watching, so I apologise for that if that is the case. But anyway, uh, is what it is. And uh, so that means that uh, Team 2, JJ's team, you were at 29.05. So congratulations, JJ. You led a strong, strong team there. Uh, team 1, which was Luke's, was 27.68 which means that Tara's team Whoa! came in at 27.49. So come on up again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go, teamwork yeah. for the dream work. And um, you know, we thought we'd just mix it up a bit and we got you some like prepaid gift cards so that you guys can sort of just do whatever you want. So, if it was me, I'd be buying tree climbing gear or something like that to make your life a lot easier so you can win next year's competition. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just wanted to say thanks very much for all of that. And um, yeah, I mean, I had a bit of fun there today and um, maybe over the next sort of couple of months we can talk about what other things we can add to it to yeah. sort of challenge us for next time. Or if you've got any other yeah, ideas, then um, yeah, like just have some fun. And I loved how you guys kind of just work together as yep. teams just thrown in randomly so and I'd like um, to say yeah. I think on behalf of the whole team I think we all appreciate an event like this I don't think many other companies do something like this um, so for Nick Hank and of course Bell big round of applause you guys are on. and then um, the outstanding unanimous vote for the um, players player <laughs> Um, the MVP, or the most valuable player, or whatever that wants to be like, would have gone to Sam, but he actually slept in, so nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, so yeah, we had to go to the runner-up after Sam, which actually was the VIP um, was Alex. Yeah, yeah. So there you go, mate. Yeah. Yes! Exactly. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs>